Hey everybody, it's Angela and I am back with another process video and this one is going to use a lot of the product from the Paige Evans uh, Pink Paisley Oh My Heart collection and I am going to be scrapbooking this picture of me reading a book so I'm going to pull a lot of the uh, book themed items from this collection and as soon as I saw those I knew that um, I wanted to go ahead and scrapbook something about my 2016 reading and originally I was gonna read like 52 books in 2016 I didn't quite make it I made I think it was 43 and uh, still that was pretty good for me some of the books I actually you know read like a paperback and hardback some of them I read on my phone and some of them I listened to on a CD in my car when I was driving so any way that I could you know find the time to do it I was trying to get some reading in last year and so I just wanted to document that and I loved this paper with all the books um, but it was a little bit too busy to use as a full sheet at least for me and um, so I just cut that strip of it down so that I could get the feel of it and really enjoy the paper and have it on my layout without it being too overwhelming and then because in the picture the book that I have is blue and I'm wearing um, I have a black shirt and a blue scarf on uh, I wanted to pull in some of this blue because it matched really well and then the title on the book had yellow in it so that's why I chose that yellow grid pattern in the background and um, yeah actually I was reading that book because it had been snowing and the snowstorm took out a transformer in our area so then we had no power and it was really cold so we had started a fire in the fireplace and we couldn't work because normally we work from home so my husband and I couldn't work so we just made a fire and sat down uh, to read because it was still in the daytime so we still had plenty of daylight to read by so that was awesome and I had this brand new book I hadn't cracked open yet and yeah so it was really nice although um, we were a little worried we were gonna have the whole night without any uh, heat but besides the fireplace but luckily the power company did get our transformer fixed before we had to spend a cold night in the snow so um, yeah so anyhow I had this picture but I didn't necessarily want to scrapbook about the snow I'll do another layout for that um, so I wanted this one to be bright and cheerful so since that blue matched so perfectly to what I was wearing and the photo I decided to just take a strip of it and use my scallop border punch to create a border to segue between that book pattern paper and my yellow graph paper so I really like um, that touch and it just um, brings in more of that blue color and then I'm going to put this whole section over on the right since that graph paper already has kind of a solid yellow on the left I thought that helped to really balance the whole thing out now I have those two squares that I took from the cut apart sheet and I really like um, you know my weekend is all booked and I like that book orange piece too but I couldn't find a place in the end where that one worked so I wind up not using the orange one but I have this brand new die that I got from Neat and Tangled and it's a stitched starburst die and so I'm just using my wire cutters to cut them apart and trim off any little sharp ends I didn't want anything to get caught or tear anything later so I just trim that up really good and I'm going to use some of the six by six papers to cut out those starbursts and I pulled that shelf paper um, since I have that in 12 by 12 I'd probably use that more as a big sheet than as a six by six so I decided to just cut that up because I liked the colors in it and didn't necessarily need the design um, in this instance so I decided to use that for some of the starbursts and then I pulled um, that same blue paper I used at, for the scallops I pulled it in the 6x6 six six, uh, smaller scale to do three uh, more of the starbursts 
So I'm just running that through my Big Shot and it cuts so wonderfully. Look at that. I mean, I don't have to like pop it out of the die or anything. It just comes right out. It's perfect. I love that. So I just cut three of those. And then I'm going to go back and um, use the little stitched ones to add that extra little touch of stitching. Now you don't have to do that. Um, and I only, I think, do it on three of them and I leave the other three without stitching. Um, this little thing would work good on just a circle punch to just use the stitches on a, a circle would be cool too. There you can see the little stitching it kind of adds in there is just a little bit of texture. So yeah, I'd like to try that on a circle too. I really like the effect. So I think this is the last one I do the stitching on. And so, yeah, I really love the die. I love how it worked and everything. And so I'm just going to put my big shot away and start figuring out where I want to put these starbursts. And I decide to put some of them. I was thinking about doubling them up, but then decide to use them just singly. And, uh, I was thinking to do a little bit of a diagonal pattern with those so that some of them would be over the pattern paper and some of them would be over the graph paper so you could see them a little better. And then I'm looking at my two little squares there that I have and when I put that orange one over on top of the books it just gets completely lost. So that's why I wind up kind of not using it. You'll see I try to fit it into the design several times and just couldn't make it work. So there I am using my ATG gun and then I'm using a little bit of wet adhesive too um, just because I had some, if you looked at my layout share video which I think will be up before this one I think, um, I had some where my glue dot tape runner, the adhesive just didn't stay on there. They were some tape runners I got it Tuesday morning and I don't know what the brand of those is but they did not last and things were popping off. So I think from now on I'm going to try to use, um, I haven't had any problems with my ATG adhesive but I think I'm going to try to use a little bit of wet glue along with my um, dry glue ATG dry glue. So that way it kind of hedges my bets that things are going to stay stuck down because I do give a lot of layouts away and I want them to stay adhered in the page protectors. I don't want um, people opening up their scrapbooks and then finding all the embellishments have fallen to the bottom. So um, anyhow, uh, I'm just looking to see where I want to position my starbursts and I'm kind of liking that. And I look through to see what else and they have some cute little chipboard books on here. Uh, a couple of them say fairy tales and stuff like that, so I think I'd like to save those for the grandkids uh, reading books. So I look through to see what else I've got. And then I remember the um, ephemera pieces, and I had set them over on the right-hand side of my desk and then forgot they were over there. So I'm looking through here first and not seeing anything right away that I want to use. And then I remember the ephemera pieces on the right hand side and there's one there that says um, something about books. So I'm like, oh yeah, that's going to be perfect. So I'm looking through, there's a lot of florals. I really wanted to use some florals because they're so pretty, but because I've got all these starbursts going on already, I really don't need um, any more flor any florals on there. So I pull out a card that I can do my journaling on and I pull out that other thing that says books and more books. And that's going to be just perfect. So I'm liking how this is coming together. Um, I like the blue uh, square over there on the right because it shows up against that book paper a little better than the orange square did. And then I like my journaling spot over there on the left and the books and more books I'm going to use as my title up at the top. So, um, and I also have that little chipboard piece too that I'm going to put over uh, by my journaling spot. And then to hold these starbursts down, I go into my Brad collection 
And I have a ton of these oversized brads, so I looked through those and there were some triangle ones that were kind of funky looking that might have been cool, but I found a lot of these um, large pink and white brads. And I'm trying to, you know, remember to go to my brad stash and use those a little bit more. And so I'm thinking about using those, but I'm gonna look through a few more items here. So I set those aside. I have these big shaped brads, um, but they were just a little bit too big or kind of too themey. And then I liked those metallic smaller brads too, so I w just wasn't sure. So I go ahead and I put one of each in a in one of the starbursts and just kind of look at it. See which one I like better. And I'm like, I don't know. And then finally I'm like, you know what, just go with the big ones. They're funky looking and um, it's been a long time since I've used any. So I thought this would be the perfect occasion. And I really love that dark pink one there on the upper left of my photo. It was like the perfect match color wise. And then um, I tried to find another light pink that was exactly the same as the other light pink I have on there, but all the shades that I had seemed to be just subtly different, so I just went with it. And then in the blue ones I went ahead and put white, just to bring some of that white from the book paper and the journaling spot elsewhere into the um, starbursts. So I'm liking that and decide to go ahead and put my photo down and again I'm using a little combination of the wet and the dry glue. So I go ahead and get that down. And then I did go to um, Walmart here the other day and I got some of this self-adhesive uh, foam pieces, foam sheets. And these are really nice. I can see why everyone's using them. I had had some really cheapy foam from the dollar store that was really thin and it didn't have adhesive on one side like this does. And it wasn't quite as nice. It didn't have um, the lift that this one has. It, these foam pieces are really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I put the one up on foam tape. This one I'm gonna put flat down because I'm gonna slide it underneath my photo. And then I'm just gonna use my paper piercer and make a little hole in there and um, put the brad in. And I like that the some of the starburst uh, little rays go up over my raised piece so that it gives a little dimension. So some of them are kind of curled up a little bit. And it's nice to know with the brads, you know, those things, they're not going to come, they're not going to fall off after an amount of time. They're, they're on there. Not like my adhesive falling off. Nothing like a good old brad. So here I'm going to put a little bit of foam under this um, books and more books that I'm using as my title. And then I was a little indecisive up on this top portion if I wanted to put two starbursts on the left and one on the right or vice versa and um, I knew I wanted one to go over my photo there because it's just the stairwell in the house so it's kind of um, just open space so I go ahead and put that down and then I was trying to still kind of keep my diagonal pattern of embellishment so you can see I'm just trying to see which one looks more visually appealing to me. I just was trying not to lose my diagonal pattern. So I go ahead and I do want my title up there. So I go ahead and I think, okay, I'm just going to put that down first. And then I decide to put that um, blue one over there on the right so that it's overlapping the other starburst right there. And I just like that they're kind of touching and that it's kind of touching the title so it kind of links everything together. And then I'm going to put that one up there and I'm going to let it run off the page since I have the one on the bottom right running off the edge of the page. I wanted one on the top left running off and then I'm just going to trim the stuff that runs off the edge there. 
And then I like that chipboard piece kind of down um, by my journaling spot. So I just go ahead and get that adhered. And then I kind of look through because normally I would put um, more embellishments, you know, like enamel dots or wood veneers or flare. But um, really the brads are kind of like enamel dots or flare. And there I just adhered the picture I had taken of the my reading list. So my book list now is on the back of my layout. I didn't need that photo to be on the front, so I just put it on the back. And then I did find one more of those kind of rose gold stickers to put on my large brad. And um, the Books and More Books has some of the rose gold, the chipboard piece, and that um, square piece at the bottom of my photo. Those all have rose gold as well, so it is several places on the layout. And then I just put that little tab too. But yeah, I thought, you know what, the I've got the brad, so I really don't need enamel dots and or flare or wood veneer. Um, it's pretty busy with that book paper too, so I didn't really need to add much more. So I decided to just put a few gold sprinkles. I know they're not rose gold, but um, they kind of just look like yellow sprinkles at this point. And that kind of matches in with my graph paper. And then I call it done. Um, yeah, I didn't feel like I needed to go back and add a lot of small items. So here's the close up. And you can see those starbursts with the stitching on there. They're so cute. And the big brads. And then there's the rose gold in the title. And there's rose gold in the chipboard. And the, my weekend is all booked is also in rose gold. Along with that heart that I stuck on the brad. And you can see that really cute book paper. And so, yeah, it turned out really nice. It was so fun to use this brand new collection. I couldn't wait to get into it and use that new die cut that I got as well, along with using some of those old brads too. So if you have any questions or anything, just leave me a comment below. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.